Beer Reviews, back from the depths of high ABV beer land. What a review day it's been, my friend. Indeed. Uh, Indeed. So, yeah. Another episode of As Beer Swirls. We have a beer. We do. That has been in the back of Mike's fridge for years. Then transferred to my fridge for a year, maybe. Six months? Seven yeah, months? Yeah, it's, it's been in our possession for quite some time. Uh, this beer... If you haven't noticed by this giant white crowler. Yes. Um, this is from Crafty Ales and Lagers. And uh, they are located in Phelps, New York. And this is their 2019 <laughs> elixir. And it is classified as, it's like a dark strong ale slash yeah. quad. Um, 2019, I believe that's the championship year. I believe so, uh, yes. They won uh, best uh, Belgian... Dark, yep. I think it was gold medal at yep. the New York State Craft Beer Competition, and uh, yeah, so eleven percent ABV, and uh, <laughs> came on six <laughs> June first of uh, a few years ago. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this was given to us courtesy of uh, Mike, the uh, owner of Crafty Us and Lagers, and uh, we're gonna do this beer for science. Let's see how it held up. Okay. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Took some pressure. Good. Uh, full disclosure: We have had the 2019 multiple, multiple years. Yeah, because every year they do the um, uh, the vertical. I figured out you were right. So I watched back one of our videos recently with okay. a crawler. Yep. And I was like, man, these crawlers always spill. And you're like, I think you got to hard pour them. Yeah. So I just did pour. it. Not a drop spill. Look at that. <sighs> All right. That is just a rich mahogany of a beer. Look at that head. Look at it. Beautiful. Beautiful. My precious. It looks fantastic. Dude, I love doing the verticals every year. Oh my gosh, it's so much fun. Isn't it really it's just like, so much it's fun. such a treat to do. Because And I, I think, I mean, we, I guess we can do it and talk. But w there's always like a year where it's like, oh, I don't care for it this year. And then all of a sudden next year, like, oh, that aged. That aged nicely. And it's just. And you know what's crazy about this is like, so we, re we, in the past, we reviewed Elixir, but it was a 2017. Yeah. And same in thing. In a growler. In a growler, and it held up. <laughs> so, like, here we are in a crowler, and it's still holding up. Just, it smells good. Uh, it looks good. It, it looks, looks carved. Good. It looks smells good. There's a nice, sweet nuttiness to it. Uh, a brown bread. Uh, There's, like, this uh, kind of, like, cherry marzipan almond kind of thing yeah, going on. Yeah, yeah. With like a, like a slight nutmeggy, bready kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, I completely agree with you. I want to, I want to go as far as like cinnamon, but like a no, but like a brown, maybe a brown sugar or something. or something like that. Yeah. But yeah, there's a kind of sweet bready. Uh, we've been letting this sit out for a while out of the fridge. Yeah, so it was once again <laughs> ice freaking cold. I mean, I was surprised there wasn't like frost on it or something. I didn't think about it. Like I, I have a crawler of the 2024 edition down. I still have. Oh, okay, I still have one more in my fridge. This smells so good. Let's dive. In. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate it. No, what comes to mind? What? <clears throat> Gumdrops. Oh. Okay. All right. Carry on. Immediately, I was hit with like fruity cherry gumdrops. Mm -hmm. And then there was like this leather and tobacco kind of presence. And it kind of carries on with a slight bitterness through the whole <clears throat> pull of the, uh, the sip on the back of the palate. Mm -hmm. But then there's like this... It's almost like the there's like a are you getting like a little bit of a, like a spearmint on the back end? No, but that's interesting, really. Yeah, that's it's not like a strong spearmint, but there's a slight minty thing right on the back end to where that dark drying bitterness and the sweet 
bready components mm-hmm. mix, but then it kind of just elevates and poofs up a little bit. And I think that's coming off as a little mintiness to me. Okay. Uh, I definitely get uh, the breadiness. It was there on the aroma. It's still here. Uh, there's a nice little toffee caramel note back mm-hmm. there with some cherry. Uh some other dark stone fruits in there as well but it's very like airy like it's not thick or syrupy like some of the other years have been it's more uh spritzy like there's a carbonation level in there that's kind of like bouncing it Mm. all around um it, it still drinks a little cold for whatever that's worth. Like I feel like it, when it warms up, it might that aspect might settle. I think down. I like it a little bit cold, but I, with a little chill. I was gonna say I'm enjoying it the way it is. It definitely has that Belgian candy kind of thing going on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, alcohol. <laughs> this is the stuff you slam it. Yep. And, and you wake up on your couch. And you're just yep. like, what happened? I don't know. Was there any V on that again? Or are you doing beer reviews, and by the end of the review, no one understands the words you're saying. But in your mind, you're like, I'm completely coherent. Yeah. Every word I'm saying is enunciated and makes complete sense. Indeed. I'm starting to get a little, like, <clears throat> dark chocolate-covered cherry, like cherry cordials oh. to it. <sighs> Port... Port wine comes to mind. Yeah, yeah. I'm still getting that kind of leather and oaky tobacco thing. Uh, I like your tobacco note pull because there is like a like a tobacco paper, like mm-hmm. leafy note to it, and that's very pleasant in the bag. <sighs> this is aged nicely. Carbonation spot on. Yeah. <laughs> Carbonation, great. You know what's funny is when Mike gave this to me, low those many years ago yeah he's like if you're gonna review just just be nice <laughs> it was like oh because he didn't think it was hold up in the yeah crowd. and i was like oh yeah i mean no problem it's very tasty i gotta be honest i i've had fresh beers of the same category that are half as good as this yeah. Like, and I love crafties, and I'm not just trying to be, like, nice or whatever, but seriously, it's held up wonderfully. Mm-hmm. Like, there's not a there's not a hint of oxidation. And if there is, it's only accented those kind of notes that I really enjoy. Yep. Um, yep. I really think that at the end of the day, it's improved upon what it was and hasn't dropped off in any particular fashion that negatively affects the beer i i couldn't put it any better like i guess what i'm what i mean is like even if if there was a strong spice note let's say with the 2019 sure version, sure those spices have subdued and mellowed and kind of just flattened out to they're, they're there but it's not it doesn't take over and to me that's a great thing this whole style to begin with is something that like not a lot of people can get into for whatever reason. And I don't really get a lot of Belgian quads. I don't I don't buy a lot of strong L's and stuff. But when I do, this is kind of the, the note I look for. It's balanced. You get the mm-hmm. complexity of the hops uh, kind of marrying with that base kind of bready, sweet maltness. And it just kind of, you almost get some barrel character out of it, I, I, even though it's yep. not the barrel. And yeah. I, yeah, it, it drinks like a, a barrel aged beer, and I think the the perfect word that you already stated was balanced. Like everything going on in here, it could be, and especially for as old as it is, and in the vessel that it's in, this thing could be lopsided to no end. But it's still a very balanced yeah. beer. It demands to be sipped. It's and like you said, we don't drink a lot of the Belgian quads or, mm. or Belgian dark ales, dark strong ales. But this is this. Elixir is still a bar I set anyone I drink to. Here's a negative for me. Mm-hmm. Me personally, Elixir, I can't drink a lot of it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm like, eh. to be honest, when I go to do the verticals and stuff, the little tasters it's that we get. Perfect amount of those. Perfect amount. Yep. In fact, if I was just going there and say, hey, give me a pour of the 2024 Elixir on its own. Mm-hmm. 
It's one of the poor. Oh, what? Like, if this is too much, that growler was far too much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, so, like, like, this is one of those beers where if... It'd be awesome if he could just put them in, like, little 8-ounce bottles or something. Yeah. Oh, that'd be fantastic. Because, yeah, it, it's not a style that you're going to sit there and crush all the I tell you what, you know? I still like, maintain... So we're part of the Crafties uh, Mug Club. <laughs> I'm telling you, for a Mug Club gift, one year, just barrel age some elixir oh. and bottle it up, and that's our gift. Yeah, that would be fantastic. A barrel aged elixir and bottle. Uh, he's got the he's got barrels, but he's barrel aging other stuff. It's a little elixir in there. I'm just saying. Uh, what do you rate it? Oh man, uh, I will give this. Uh, I'll give it a 4-4. Four, four. It's held up very nicely. It's delicious. Like yeah. It yeah, 4-5. At the vertical, I, I think it was a tie between the 19 and... Yeah, that's what I was just going to ask. Do you remember which ones you enjoyed the most? The 19 and I want to say the 21? Yeah, I remember the 21 being really good. Really, 21 came off more grape. I, yeah, which I still get, like I said earlier, port wine out of this. I still get some grape out of this. But yeah, yeah I think the 21, the 19 was really good. Uh, that 17 growler was fantastic that we opened up. But I remember doing the vertical and the uh, the 2016. Mm -hmm. That stuff was straight up liquor. And it was so good. <laughs> like yeah. that, that one really, that really cemented itself in my memory. Hmm. It's always a treat when we get to Now it makes this. me think, I was like, so I've had the 2024 fresh, so I just let it sit in the back of the fridge. I mean, it's in a crawler. It's probably fine. It's probably fine. Mike knows how to crawler stuff over there. there we right? go. Yeah, yeah, you're all right. Don't you're give right. him a crawler. He probably didn't even pour this himself. He had he had someone else crawler it up. I'm Team Mike. I'm going to say he did. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Let's get out of here. <laughs> uh, down in the description, link tree, click on whatever you want. Uh, we age poorly, but this did not. So thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers.